All right, the other new game that's come out this week that I wanted to talk about is Midnight Fight Express. This is a game that should just should have been should have been tucked away in the another fun indie game that released Corner, like just the way it looks. But like there was something about it that caught a lot of people's attention. Then they put a demo out. So for me, it, it's one of those games that I might have tried. Who knows? But I tried the demo and I was immediately won over because of the super fast and very satisfying arcadey combat that's actually yeah. surprisingly deep. I, I mean arcadey just because of the way it feels and how it's snappy. But yep. it's actually really deep. The combat system has a lot going on, lots of yep. buttons to kind of learn and I combos actually, to figure out. It's funny you mention that. I always forget you can just grab a thing and throw it. Grab a thing and throw <laughs> it? Yeah. I forget like, you I, slow down like, time. I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah, you can, just, you can just slow down time. I, I unlocked <laughs> grapple really early on. I was like, there's a whole grapple system involved in here, too, where you can oh, even wow. you could even do a choke slam on a guy. Did you know that? What? No, I didn't I'm, know that. Slam. So, it's a, re- so it's a wrestling there. game. I, I unlocked that immediately. Yeah. I unlocked finishers, and the finisher in the demo, like the video a clip of it, was just like a German suplex or something. And I'm like, yeah, ah, this, these, these guys are wrestling fans. He's a wrestling fan, I think, because if you go under the grapple, the one of the first things you're going to unlock is a choke slam move. And it's it's legitimately oh, you grab on the neck and do like one handed choke slam. But anyway, um, <laughs> later on you unlock the people's elbow. It's not you know it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the yeah, most so wrestling is, move in the history of wrestling. <laughs> so this is a um, a stylish isometric action game. You could call it action RPG actually because of the way that you upgrade and unlock things. But there's definitely a arcade kind of fastest run, highest score element yeah. to it where every yeah they get a grade at the end right of... at the beginning it'll tell you like it'll give you a list of your progress right at the beginning it's not hard to find it'll say i completed level three of 41 so you know right away all right there's 41 main levels there's a hundred and something challenges you can actually go into the practice room and create whatever you want whatever combination of enemies or items you want in the practice arena so like they essentially oh. have put this kind of arcade sandbox into this game that also has <laughs> linear path if you want to um, so there's some pretty cool stuff that this developer has added in, and uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's called Midnight Fight Express. You are literally running around fighting. You just punch everything. You're kicking everything. You're shooting things, throwing things. Don't get too close to explosives that you throw. I made that mistake more than once. Oh, um, yeah. Oopsies. Uh, but anyway, it's. I think it's super fun, super stylish. Yeah, I yeah, think uh, the visuals work well for it because it allows it to run pretty smoothly. Although I will say on my PC, it gets surprisingly hot for a smaller game. I'm I'm surprised by that too, man. I got it on, uh, you know, I got the uh, I got an actual like a 4K monitor. I'm running on 4K, and I'm like, it's running like the same temperature that freaking Spider-Man runs, man. It's, it gets really hot. I'm like, what is going on with this? It might just need to be optimized. optimized we might get a patch yeah. for it, and it might Maybe. get optimized a bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, but anyway, I I, I find I, it. I say be... we stand outside this one guy's house and just riot. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The, the one guy that made the <laughs> the one singular guy. We should just go. Why is my computer? He's like, wait, degrees. what's wrong with the game? It's great. We love it. It's we fun. love it. But my 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 room's about five degrees hotter now. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. That's what I hate. It. <laughs> so so yeah it's and it's one of those games too where it starts out with uh you know you're being interrogated by these guys and then they ask you to go back and tell what happened or you know how you got here who you yeah. are whatever so but it's very lightweight on that story element although i am kind of in- interested to see like well who am i and how did yeah, i because the first yeah. boss you defeat mentions oh you're this guy yeah wait until my boss finds out that you're here and that, yeah. whatever, that first yada, boss yada, gave me yeah. very strong Hotline Miami vibes for some reason. That boss, I, I was gonna say this. This just feels like easy and more flashy Hotline <laughs> yeah. Miami, which I really enjoy because like yeah, the soundtrack yeah, is very Hotline easier. Miami. The vibes are very Hotline yes. Miami. Yeah, uh, I like. I like. It's like Hotline can... Miami, but you insert the Spider-Man uh, combat kind of. Yeah, like because you, it's intuitive and it's the, there's no latency in the button. Like you kind of yeah. know. Yeah. exactly what how to block when to block and like you can you can button mash um, yeah, you can way through a lot yeah. of it at the beginning especially but you're gonna it's gonna suit you much better for your score as well as for keeping your health up by doing the um the uh not the com- i was gonna say combos but the counters if you yeah, block the counters time, yeah uh, using items, using weapons. That's the weapons first thing, thing I'm locking yeah. down. I feel like I thought like my character will. That's like, the first more thing I unlocked like, was the uh, the do- uh, the counter because it flashes. Uh, I play with a controller. It flashes Y above their head uh, right when they're about to hit you, and you get you get some really cool con- counter. And attacks. you don't have to use the dumb LB button, which right. is annoying at first yeah. to hit them. But um, yeah, yeah. Thank God I unlocked that first. It's cool hearing <laughs> you guys talk funny. about what you unlocked because I went a different. Yeah. Like the, the unlock actually gives you some helpful stuff, but it depends on what you want to what play style. Yeah with which i think is 
is pretty cool. Yeah, so. I went brawler. I'm going down the brawler, like the first nice. tree or whatever. So yeah, they, I, I mean, and it's also a little tongue in cheek. Like like at the beginning, the first level when they're taking you through the tutorial, even the enemies will say like, "We're gonna take out our misguided anger on you," or they say something like are, that. They do, and they also keep mentioning the pizza guy. Like they keep yeah. saying, "I want freaking pizza." Like yeah. it's so funny how <laughs> they got like this weird hard on for pizza, like in the first three <laughs> levels. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a bit of a, I mean, speaking of pizza, a little bit of a Ninja Turtles vibe where there's yeah. like there's some depth to it, but it's also just kind of fun. Do as well as you can and hit all the buttons. Right. Um, mm -hmm. A little bit, a little bit of that too. But, I yeah. uh, I was gonna say uh, the you can actually make your guy look really stupid too. Uh, so obviously yeah. I'm doing that. There were shorts called Bro Shorts, and I was like <laughs> buying for like six thousand dollars, buying them immediately, and wow. they like hang off like you you know hang off below his crotch so he looks really stupid <laughs> with like oh a formal gosh. top shirt and his bottom half is like hanging off his ass like i need to, i need to do nice. characters more like jeff because i am so basic bro i got like a yeah, nice hat and cool gloves and a hat and i was like yeah, yeah i look cool I'm like no i don't i look basic there's look also basic like a grandmaster uh like uh Eatman, uh outfit where no it's like kind of like a I kung fu outfit i like that one. It's, like it's really it's one of the first ones like you just scroll down a little bit it's there um yeah that's really cool um yeah. yeah i love how much you can customize even though it's just like you're mentioning it's an arcade game more or less because you're going to want to replay levels to get a better score get more money um it's a lot of fun though it's so much fun yeah i'm i'm, I'm really enjoying it it's um i don't really have much to add uh, other than what y'all said but it's it's just a good time and uh yeah. 41 levels up breeze through that quick you know what I mean? exactly so, um, yeah, because they're pretty short. I'm assuming yep. as the game goes on, they'll get tougher and they'll, the levels will be a yeah, lengthier. But I have um, to think through some of some of the yeah, challenges are like get, get to the yeah. end in under 180 seconds was the challenge for that first main level that you after the tutorial, the first main level you can replay. Right. And so like that's how short some of these levels can be. It's like run from room to room, knock guys yeah. out. And uh, try to get all the challenges. Just throw tables well, and chairs at everybody, and you yeah. can get faster. Dude, that and part's well, like, fun. And by the way, yeah. you can knock a kick. So, like, if you run up to a box or a chair, instead of picking up and throwing it, you literally kick it right up under their face, almost like soccer ball. It's so cool. I love how. Which, like, I, I wish Shifu was a little more like this game, where it was more about the fun than it was about like you better brutally know what you're doing. Or we're gonna punish <laughs> that you. Game you was, that game will. It's an actual you. martial arts yeah, game, yeah. Right? like straight yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. The new update makes it a little more like. Oh, there's another update. I would. Say make it makes it way, way easier for yeah, everybody. So, uh, and I'm here. I'm here for that. Put me I'm on here for the easy baby update mode. and for the Matrix mod. Those I thought you were. I thought you were a kung fu master. You should be blowing through these guys, right? <laughs> you know. So I'm just trying. Hey, I'm just trying to role play, guys. You know, it's not a big deal. Right. See, so, yeah, this one's on Game Pass. I think it's on um, every Steam, console. I could I be wrong, but um, I remember playing the demo on Steam. It's definitely. I played good. the demo on Steam, but I'm, yeah. I installed yeah. it on PC through Game Pass. Although I'd be happy to buy, I would have been happy to spend 20, 25 bucks on this. I think it's, yeah, I, I think thought it's I was 20. going to, and I was willing to. And Same here. I didn't have yeah. to, so great. Yeah. Uh, just to, if anyone's curious what it looks like, I mean, obviously you can look up any video, but we do have the demo that I put up on our page, our YouTube page. Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, nice. We have that Let's Play on our YouTube channel. It's a good check From out. a while ago.